So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. There's the whistle, and here we go. Madison. Tielemans. And here's all Brighton. Goes long. All Brighton looking to get on the end of this. Gets up to head it. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Vardy certainly could have and should have made more of that. Ducore. Hughes. Mundidi tries to get it forward quickly. And that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And here's Gray. Chilwell. Tielemans. So it is still nil-nil. Ricardo Pereira. Oh, that's nice. Up to meet it! It's in! There is the breakthrough! A great delivery and a finish to match. I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Leicester get themselves into the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Cleverly. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. He can get that clear. Watford have it back and they can go again. And it's Pereira. Ndidi. Barnes. Plays it over to the other flank. 
Dawson. Hughes. Cleverly. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And here we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Leicester leading 1 0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free flowing football. Barnes. Chilwell. Barnes. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Looks to thread it through. Now the cross. Hughes. Kiko Femenia. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Kiko Femenia. Just brushed off the ball there. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. to get it away well this is exactly the approach they have to take now Peter well hit and hope is just about the sum of it isn't it Jim spot on Peter to Corre. Leicester still ahead by the game's only goal. Barnes has got himself a free kick. Well back. Brings it forward. De La Feu. And Didi is there, and he can get that clear. And that's been one straight back. And it's to Kore. And here's Welbeck. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Almost there. So that's it. It is all over. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter, not the prettiest of wins.